Welcome to Elected. I'm your host, Luke Radel, still coming to you from the Sunshine State. Though, honestly, guys, I'm not dreading coming back home as much anymore because I hear the news in Utica is really heating up. Oneida County Executive Anthony Pacenti delivered his State of the County address last week at the Turning Stone Casino, though unfortunately the podium he was standing at wasn't made out of gingerbread. Pacenti outlined his vision for the county over the next few years and detailed the projects he was looking forward to focusing on in the near future. There were even some shout outs to an old favorite topic here on the channel, the Downtown Hospital, now named the Wynn Hospital and opening next year. Never has the pandemic made anything clearer than the necessity of a new hospital. Well, I would also say that the pandemic has made it pretty clear which of your friends should have kept the mask on because you much prefer seeing just the top half of their face. MBHS's Wynn Hospital will be completed next year, and with it, a new parking garage. <laughs> wow, I have never seen that much enthusiastic applause for a parking garage. The part of his speech that attracted some controversy, though, was Mr. Basenti's renewed calls for the U District, a proposed economic hub around the Adirondack Bank Center in downtown Utica. Obviously. We have seen great success with the odd, and we know it'll only get better. But really, it encompasses all of Bag Square, and we need to think of it in those terms. Today, I'm proposing a U District Redevelopment Corporation to streamline, direct, and facilitate public and private investment into this area. Now, as a part of this new U District Corporation, Pacenti has appointed four board members to oversee the redevelopment of the area, one of whom is Ray Halbritter, a representative for the Oneida Indian Nation. His inclusion in the initiative led WKTV to ask the all-important and controversial casino question. Insights of Helio Health is looking to relocate, so could this be the future site of the next Oneida Indian Nation casino? Well, I don't think it's ever been off the table. I think it's something that you know we, you know, we always envisioned and, and looked at in terms of if you look at what's connected, you done in their harbor area. We're you know we're right off the harbor area. It's still something I had, I had proposed and, and still saw as you know a a, a great you know economic you know, initiative. Now, this question of a Utica casino has become a very controversial one. People like the mayor and other city officials oppose the project, while the county executive and Ray Halberter support it. But Halberter probably supports it because he would own and run the casino. I mean, I would support the county buying a Tesla if I got to be the one who drove it. The county executive seems to be a lot more optimistic about the project now than he was back in 2018 when I asked him where the project stood in an interview. If you want to say where it stands, it doesn't stand anywhere right now because it's not being done. The, the, the casino is not being built. It's, yeah. not, it's not even, I mean, it was a concept. It was a concept that was, that was thrown out there like other things. Uh, and, uh, look, I, I hear, you know, I have to, I mean, it's, it's not something that, uh, you know, one way or another can be done without, without the mayor, or whoever the mayor is, or the, uh, or the governor, whoever the governor is. It, it needs buy-in from everybody, and there's not, and I accept that. That's fine. I mean, it's still, it's, it's okay for me to, I think it's still okay for me to have that idea. Right. You cannot stop me. You cannot stop me from dreaming. So it's difficult to understand why Pacenti is reopening the door to a Utica casino, even though he acknowledges that it would need buy-in from the mayor, who is very opposed to the project. How opposed, you may ask? Well, just look at how the mayor answered my questions about the concept a few years ago. I want to talk about the casino as well, because there's a proposed U District coming to Utica. Do you support a casino nope. being in Utica? You don't want a casino in nope. Utica. Why do you not want a casino I in Utica? I just don't believe it's the quality of life that I'm looking for. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, if they were looking for a uh, an overall tourist attraction, equivalent to maybe the Turning Stone, that may be a different venue. Uh, but I don't believe bringing a casino into an area where you have the auditorium, you have the quality of life of a neighborhood, you have all the, the harbor and all these things, I don't think that adds to the quality of life uh, at this point. Man, I have not seen someone say nope that fast since I tried to ask out a girl in middle school. Anyways, so what was Anthony Pacenti's U District pitch this time around? I'm sure it was an uplifting, optimistic vision for the city going forward that everyone could get behind. One of the first projects we will address is the safety, lighting, parking and landscaping issues around the Nexus Center. 
This gleaming one-of-a-kind facility, which is already booked through March of 2023, is currently fronted by an urban hellscape. Partly the result of neglect, this area is currently situated would be a disaster for visitors. That's unacceptable. Okay, that was a lot. Um, but just in case, I asked the county executive's office to clarify what exactly the county executive meant by those comments, and they attached this artistic rendering of what visitors will look like after they walk out of the Nexus Center and into that area of the city. Look, people can obviously have differing opinions on this issue. I've gone to my fair share of comments games at the odds, so I know the area around there pretty well. Is it dark at night? Sure. Could it use some more sidewalks? Why not? But Pacenti's description of it as a wretched hive of scum and villainy doesn't make a lot of sense to me and to many others. And even more confusing is his proposal to build a casino there to make the area better for the community. But for more reaction on this, I spoke to the person who currently represents that area and the entire first ward of the city of Utica on the Common Council, Councilwoman Katie Aiello. So I went to the actual state of the address. Like I, I said this before, I very much believe in the city and county working together. So more I can learn about county matters, the more we can all succeed, I think. And I was really into the first like 40 minutes of his speech. Yeah. And then he got to the Utica part and I'm really excited. And I heard that and my, my heart pounds again listening to it. And this is even after, mind you, uh, I don't know how much you want to, me to jump around, but I have since like talked on the phone with Anthony Pacenti and we've had a good conversation. Uh, but I still, those weren't the right words at all. Um, he explains it as he was just talking about the vacant properties and streets behind Nexus, but in all of his descriptions, it was just an image for kind of back square and the U district in general. I'm all for needing streetlights and crosswalks, sidewalks, and making it as safe as possible. I think we're all on board with that. And, but when I hear words like an urban hellscape and Utica is already fighting a stigma of everything that we endured and had to go through, especially in contrast to our glory days. <laughs> and so many of us are you know, I was just thinking about all the back square businesses that are down there. And a lot of them like texted me almost like within hours after that meeting saying like, what the heck? And I think you kind of answered one of the other questions I had was, I mean, you were there. Did you get any heads up at all that either this initiative would be announced or that he was going to refer to your district in, in those terms? Oh, no, I don't even, you know, I wasn't necessarily, but I saw the, on, the RSVP on Facebook. So I'm like, oh, yeah. no, the food's yeah. got to be right at the very least yeah. so no it wasn't anything like that in those regards um, you, you said that he kind of justified it by clarifying what he was referring to the issues that he has with the areas it stands and, and the areas he has a problem with what what was his specific justification for having said that to you and were you satisfied with his answers on that front yeah he definitely apologized forever it came across seeming like it was back square because as he's saying he wants to he he also has very much done a lot of work with uh, Union Station and wanting the, the market there and everything. So he was trying to separate those two. The development that small business owners have had, uh, it's more about building off of that. So we're we're on top of that conversation, or in agreement of that conversation, I should say. And I think we are going to, it was just kind of a preliminary conversation. We're going to do kind of a walkthrough together next week. And I will have so many questions and yeah, he will too. So that'll be good. He talked about in this uh, Rome Sentinel article, the possibility once again of a casino coming into this U district. Are you in favor of that? No, <laughs> it's not even, no, absolutely not. Um, it, yeah. No, I, I just can't think of anything worse than, we already have such a vulnerable population. And I don't like it if somebody wants to come through and profit on that is what that exactly sounds like to me is with casinos. And we don't have enough mental health services to combat how toxic of an environment a casino can and would make. And I always say, you know, being in my coffee shop sometimes, 
there are sometimes weekends where it's dead and I'm confused. I'm like, where is everybody? And I'll get a text from somebody in my family like, oh, look, we're all at the casino. And in the same way that we think like malls killed downtown, no, it's like the casino killed downtown. Yeah. It, it kind of broke that community aspect off. So for so many reasons, from mental health to community initiatives, I don't think um, a casino has any point in being in downtown Utica. A huge thank you to Councilwoman Katie Aiello for joining us on the show. And thank you for watching Elected. <laughs>